the 3D crayfish. So real, it will amaze you. Hey folks, let me show you how to rig up the 3D crayfish. We got three different base accessories for the crayfish. We got an extreme wide gape hook with a corkscrew. We got a stand-up jig head. And we got this stealth spike. So for the extreme white gap hook with a corkscrew, it's really simple. All you have to do is just take your crayfish and screw that on right in the center of the tail. And that's a very, very common way to rig up these soft lures with an extreme white gap hook. So just like that, you can see, make sure that it comes off the center of the base of the tail, like so. Then you take your crayfish and you put the hook like that up through the chest and you have it coming up on the backside like that. If you're fishing in cover, it's a good idea to just pinch down the, the hook like so. So the hook tip is just hidden in the skin here. If you're fishing a little bit more open, uh, especially for pike and other fish, don't bite as hard as the bass. It's a good idea to leave the, the hook tip exposed like that. So that's how you rig it up on the extreme white cap hook, white cap hook with a corkscrew. Very, very simple. Second way, on the stand-up jig head, you can see here, you wanna have that tail come up and cover, so the hook must come up just under the hook shield. So again, it's a good thing to try to hook it in the center of the tail part like that. And let the hook tip come out just before the back shield like so. Just take the soft lure and come up like so. So that's perfectly rigged up with the stand-up jig head right there. Then the last one is the stealth spike. And the stealth spike is like this wire frame here. The wire frame you punch in just under the chest there you'll punch it through and it comes out all the way out in the nose of the crayfish you have to push it through like that so it sticks out right there then that little spike here you punch that into the tail section right in the middle so that you actually create this like an airplane like a plane that will slide away from you then you take your little hook it comes together with a spike and you actually run that through the nose and the little metal bow. This way you cannot pull the bait off. You can see the, the metal bow is sticking out right there. So you take the hook through here. And then you just tie your line on to that hook like so. By scanning a real crayfish and combining it with careful study of the movement and escape pattern of the real thing, Savage Gear has been able to create a crayfish that look and swim as real as possible, irresistible to even the wariest predator fish. Air-filled claws will not only aid in natural underwater movement when the craw is rigged forward, but also give a defensive posture when the craw is fished on a stand-up jig head and will make micro-movement even at the tiniest movement and water current. The air-filled head cavity makes the craw float, so it can be fished on a weighted weedless hook over heavy mats and lily pads and then passed in openings for a slow enticing fall into the strike zone, just like the real thing.